I was going to ask your first impression of the gimmick itself, but I can see the enthusiasm and yeah, excitement. Yeah, dude, I loved it. It was it was the it was so great because look at I, I, one thing we don't show on here because I don't know it was ever televised. But me and uh, or Jeff and Sean with me on the outside and Razor versus Razor and Diesel, and we did that match all around and. To this day, all five of us say, like, that was one of the best matches we've ever been a part of. You know what I mean? Like, it's it was just that magic. And we did it so many times that everything was perfect. And, look, I, I played a role, not a very big role, but I was there when they put that match together, and I was all ears. And so I'm hearing Shawn Michaels and Scott Hall, who Scott Hall was a genius at old-school television wrestling. And I'm talking about a genius, and, and I'm not, not saying that lightly. Mm -hmm. Um he was, and so to be able to sit in on that, Shawn Michaels, uh, Kevin, even to that point, was had more experience than I did, that's for dang sure, and Jeff, and hear that and sit in there and go, hey, what if I popped up right there? Or they tell me, you pop up right there. You know what I mean? And so I got to, man, it was such a great gimmick. I, uh, only I screwed it up. <laughs> There's that trend. There's that trend again. The signing of the contract, the development of the character, your first appearance on TV. I'm assuming you consulted with your brothers and your father during all this coming together. Uh, what did they think and what advice or guidance did they offer? To be quite honest with you, I didn't consult with them much. Like I would definitely call them and say, hey, I just got a job at WWE. <laughs> the only time my dad ever really said anything was about the time I told him they wanted. And this was not long after this. Or no, 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 it was when I went back as the real Double J. And uh, I said, they want me to do a job. Uh, and he got hot at me and, and said, you got a job, don't you? And I'll never forget that. I say that a lot because I'll never forget it. It's, it's, it's phony baloney wrestling. Do I love it? With all my heart and then some because I've sacrificed everything for it. Uh, every birthday, every child's birthday. Uh, so do I love it? Heck yeah. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, I'm a human being too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted you guys to know I'm a human being. You know what I mean? I got feelings Dog. and stuff. And talking about pay-per-views, your next big moments at the Royal Rumble 1995 where you helped Jeff get the win and the Intercontinental title over Razor Ramon Scott Hall. Dog, first off, what can you tell us about your experiences with Scott Hall? Yeah, look, I touched on it before. Scott, Scott was friends with my brother Steve in Japan. He had met my brother Brad uh, and my father, um, but he did, you know, he wasn't great friends with him. But he was good friends with my brother Steve, and so when I got there and look i also got there and started working right away with sean michaels and kevin nash and scott hall and x Pac and jeff jarrett and you know what i mean the the kind of the upper echelon uh of people that were there at the time so it was so i got right in there with them and that that helped me a great deal, but I still had no clue what I was doing. I was just around some great people and trying to take what I need and leave the rest and then do my best out there every week. It's a huge moment in your career. I'm sorry, we were talking about Scott Hall. I'm sorry. I touched on it briefly, and then I rambled. I did the old DC dip and twirl. Uh, but, but Scott, look, Scott will be missed. Scott was a great guy. Razor Ramon is one of the best characters. It's right up there, think about it, with uh, Stinking Kane or Undertaker. Like Razor Ramon was one of the cool, it was at the end of that character era, but it was one of the cool ones. You know, they didn't Duke the Dumpster, the real Double J, some of us the goon, some of us didn't quite catch on, but that that did. And, and what a superstar he was and what a, a career he had. You know what I mean? Like I, I'll miss Scott a hundred percent because Man, we had some great times together. Of course, we had some times that weren't so great together also, but that builds a relationship, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm going to have to dig and press. Talk to me about one of these conflicting times. We got a little, a little bit. I, I, I mean, you brought it up. I got to get into it. As, yeah. as, as everyone is a Scott Hall fan. I think that's the, the biggest interesting thing is every wrestling fan, I think, every single one. Maybe that's, maybe there's two that aren't. But, like, yeah. everyone loves Scott Hall. That guy just transcended what it was to be cool. Yeah, and he, he, he was cool, right? That was the whole thing. And he always said, like, I try to sell like a man. He said, I used to watch your brother Steve. He sold like a man. And I never really knew what he was talking about. But it was like, 
you know, he's not, he sell, he, may, he makes you chop him down. He goes down, but still grabbing at you. Like he's, he's fighting you the whole time. You know what I mean? And so, uh, look, I learned a ton from Scott Hall. Uh, most of them unwritten rules about the industry that just kind of exist. And they don't, a lot of the people today don't know them. So going back that huge moment in your career, pay-per-view involved with the Intercontinental title, Jeff gets the win. How happy were you for Jeff, and what was the celebration like that night? I'm sorry, I was just sending you a text. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look, the celebration was, was, was what it was every night, to be quite honest with you. Uh, Jeff drank a lot. I took a lot of pills and smoked a lot of dope, and we went to the next town and did it again. And, uh, and look, that's what I mean by not... Uh, fully comprehending the scenario that I was in professionally, not fully uh, and taking it for granted, to be quite honest with you, because I was young and dumb and loved the wrestling business and just wanted to be a wrestler. You know what I mean? And that's where I was at. That's where so I was at right now. Fresh out of the Marine Corps, working in pay-per-views, winning Intercontinental titles or helping Jeff win the Intercontinental title. Like, Holy mackerel. Um, when I was in the military, I watched a Survivor Series at my brother Brad's house when he lived in Charlotte. And the WWF at the time was the hugest thing I'd ever seen. And now here I am literally like eight, seven years later on the same, you know, on the same uh, stage yep. as those yep. guys. Just incredible time in my life. We're like a month in on the gimmick 